some of the best minds in the world bringing you some of the best knowledge on TRS clips. Um, let's talk about something that's going on right now while mm. we're talking about uh, biotech. Mm. Mm. Would you call stem cells as biotech? And what are stem cells? Stem cells are bio. Uh, they are not. They're more bio than tech. So stem cells are cells in your body that have not differentiated into a particular organ. As in, they can become anything. They can become anything. So okay, hold on. Mm. To explain this better. Your brain has a particular kind of cell, your eyes have a particular kind of cell, Correct. your lips have a particular kind of cell, your so, bones have a particular kind yeah, of cell. Yeah, think about it all the way back when you when you start off as a sperm and an egg and they come together and they form a zygote and that zygote will go and implant into a uterus. Now that zygote will eventually become a full human baby. Hmm. So essentially everything about you has come from that cell. So that cell is capable of differentiating into a heart, into a lung, into a brain, into a kidney, whatever. Mm. So at different stages in that journey from a cell to a baby, there are different types of cells that you can pick up. And some of those cells remain like that, even in an adult form. Okay. So deep inside your bones, you have cells that can become any of your blood cells, it could become a white blood cell, it could become a red blood cell. Similarly, in your brain, there are areas which can become a neuron, but it hasn't become a neuron yet. Okay, wow, shit. Right, so there are stem cells that are still there in your body, which you can pick up. And so this is great for, you know, different types of treatments. I didn't know that these cells are present in adult bodies as well. I, yeah. I was under the assumption for some reason that it's something to do with umbilical cords of babies. That is one way to do it. But there are stem cells present in hum adult humans also. Does it mean that umbilical cords contain a lot of stem cells? Yes. Okay. When we're saying that stem cell research is happening all over the right. world, are they trying to make stem cells in labs? Is that the logic? They are also trying to do that. Uh, they are also trying to see if they can grow organs from other animals in vitro, that is in a lab, and then try to transplant that into a human being. So these are all different kinds of research. Uh, stem cell therapy is so promising because it can, it opens the door to creating organs from scratch, quite literally. So if you can do that, the the possibility of help is huge. And uh, even in cancer treatment, there is a lot of potential for stem cell because in a way, cancer cells divide like stem cells because they divide and they grow and they grow and they grow. So when you understand stem cells a lot, you actually have insight into cancer as well. Didn't they just come up with some drug that is being, yeah. is very promising in cancer? Yeah. Uh, yeah. treatment so but it was a very small group though it was just 12 people okay so um i think there was a warning in the study as well that you know before until they do a much bigger study uh you can't you can't be too celebratory but definitely a huge news again i'm asking the doctor and you are there other angles like this whole stem cell research angle which interest you a lot uh so neurogenesis is a very interesting one because earlier we used to believe that a baby once born brain cells don't grow I don't know if you've heard of this thing. Yeah. We, we are born with all the neurons that we will ever have. And if a neuron dies, it dies. But that's not true. Uh, now we know that there are areas in the brain, especially in the around the nose and in deep in the hippocampus. There are areas where new brain cells can grow. And there are certain things that we can do to make them grow even more. Exercise being one of them, okay. interestingly, where you can actually create new neurons. So that is a very interesting field of research. So exercise technically makes you smarter. It does. Wow. Quite literally. Possibly even meditation. Quite literally it does. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Fair. Uh, and, and there's more research being done about these dormant neurons. That's what. Yes. Yes. How do you even do research about it? You take like dead people's brains or something? No, what these happens? are all animal studies. Uh, most okay. of what we know about human brains comes from animal and monkey studies. Wow. Ironically. Um, so I, I remember talking to a researcher about this, that it is possible that, um, the human brain is completely different than an animal. Yeah. I mean, from all the things that we say, it is very possible that the human brain is different because most of what we know about the human brain comes from animal studies. And we are assuming that it gets carried forward into human beings as well. 
what will it take to do studies on human brains instead that's the biggest challenge right so now until very very recently we didn't have imaging techniques how do i know what's in your head the only way was to cut open your brain and take it out and study it which is not fair for you but now we have things like mri and that the the strength of the mri is getting better and better so now with an mri machine i can see very very clear parts of your brain there is a one tesla mri the three tesla mri so that's the strength of the mri now they've come up with seven tesla mri it is so powerful that you can almost see the cells each individual neuron so they are coming up with something called radio pathology so pathology is when you cut open a tissue take it out put it under a microscope and look at the cells the only way to look at the cells was to do that but imagine if a camera or an mri is so powerful that you don't need to cut it open just through that mri machine you can look at a brain and look at the cells of the brain now suddenly the whole brain appears different so i've seen images of a 7 tesla mri and it looks nothing like a 3 tesla mri so our our relationship with the brain is going to change as technology changes and therefore with the speed of technology changing maybe our speed of learning about the brain will also 100% 100% there is something called mr spectroscopy and mr tractography now these are two new techniques you can see the fibers of the brain and if you haven't seen it guys you should check it out just google mr tractography it is one of the most beautiful images that you can see all the fibers of the brain in different colors your brain looks so gorgeous that's mm. actually my desktop wallpaper we were just talking about how engineers and doctors don't talk to each other enough yeah. uh but that's changing uh biotech is a great example of it thank you for watching this clip if you want to learn more about this topic we've curated a playlist just for you and here's a link to the whole episode